1928, an eight-year-old girl who was having breathing difficulties was placed in a machine. A machine called an iron lung. Normally used for other things like risk people with respiratory difficulties, maybe from coal gas poisoning. Later on, mid 20th century, polio swept the country and it was an issue and it can cause paralysis. And these iron lungs came in handy for the paralysis and the respiratory issues that came with it. And um, later on, the iron lung made by Drinker was made better by a guy named Emerson. His respiratory system had better upgrades, better things to it, a better machine, cheaper. Um, and these machines were given to people, maybe with polio, and gave them the ability to breathe. Okay? This might remind you of maybe a positive breathing system, like a resp respirator, and it's like that. Iron lung is made before the positive pressure ventilator. Um, the ventilator, positive pressure ventilator that you may see now was the iron lungs replacement. So, um, and this guy named Paul Alexander lived in an iron lung for 78, 78 years in the iron lung. And the iron lung is this machine that you lay on your back and your head is sticking out. Your whole torso's in the iron lung. And he's paralyzed. He got paralyzed from polio very bad case of polio and uh, he had to live in an iron lung and be taken care of by a helper. There are other variations of the iron lung like a surus, surus ventilator that goes around your chest as well as a jacket ventilator that goes around your chest again and helps you breathe and does the same thing. Um, there are other accounts of people being able to use, having to use the iron lung and uh, they're able to, to jump out of the iron lung and sit around for a couple of minutes or even go on other machines. Positive pressure ventilation systems like you see a day are now more common than negative pressure systems. So there are many different um, avenues that you could go through uh, with this. There are some instances of people living 72 years in the iron lung. And this most recent account of a guy living 72 years in the iron lung, 72, 61 years. Ever since they were a little kid, they contracted polio, which shuts down your nervous system and makes you paralyzed. And they then, from that point of contracting polio, they have to live in the iron lung. And um, they have to live in it to survive. And um, not every person who contracts polio has has this respiratory issue. There are many who, there's only a certain amount of people who contract polio that they have to go to, they got extremely bad polio and they are paralyzed, which uh, polio now is cured by a vaccine and we don't have to worry about it. A disease may some like COVID, you know, today we had most recently we had COVID, but now we have COVID vaccines, just like they had polio, but now they have polio vaccines. There's these different machines and they all work differently and um, some are negative, some are positive. Ventilation. These are tools that were used before positive pressure ventilation. Um, like negative iron lung, the jackets, Merson's iron lung, and Dictor's iron lung, Drinker's iron lung, that uh, help people with respiratory issues before positive pressure ventilation. So that is today's video on the iron lung and respiratory issues.